Now, when it comes to acne, many people uh, hope that it's something that they'll leave behind in their teenage years, along with some other things. However, acne is a condition that's quite common among adults. In today's Getting Under Your Skin series, we discuss adult acne and give you a few tips and tricks for flawless skin. But first, let's get under the skin of wellness expert Lisa Rayleigh. I'm Lisa Rani and I am a wellness and lifestyle expert. South Africa doesn't actually know that I am a farm girl of notes and my passion is to get stuck into nature and I love to farm, I love to cook, I love gardening, I love animals and I grew up on the farm and most of our holidays were spent in the bush, that's where my dad's background is. Uh, he's a conservationist and a property developer and just recently we bought a farm and I can't wait uh, to start my new ventures there, it's in the Midlands in Kozuli Natal and we're going to be doing all kinds of beautiful things there and it's really a new chapter in my career and I'm super excited. I have many things that are embarrassing that happens to me. Uh, I'm quite ditzy and quite clumsy sometimes and I think it's because I'm always trying to do too many things at once so I forget something along the way. Something that happened to me recently on an international flight is I had my earphones on my head and I wanted to watch a movie and we were about to take off and my earphones weren't working and I was starting to get very flustered because it was a 12 hour flight. I thought, oh my word, this is like the worst thing ever to be on such a long flight, no movies, no radio. So I was bleak and I was starting to cause a bit of a fuss, you know, pinging the air hostess with the button. And then I had my other half Stafford like nudge me in the ribs saying, babe, you know, it's not even plugged in. So it was a situational thing. But it was really funny at the time and I was very embarrassed because I was being a bit of a prima donna. So yeah, that's something situational, but I'm always doing things like that. So I wish I could say I always had it together, but I often say stuff and do stuff that gets me into a bit of trouble. I have two vices. The one is fresh vanilla cake with butter icing and the other is crispy french fries with lots of salt and mayonnaise on the side. So I don't think that I could actually survive in this world without those two things but I make sure that I eat healthy the rest of the time and that I exercise and I get rest and I do everything else right but those are the two things I cannot live without. I've never suffered from acne as a child or in my teen years. Um, the only time I really ever get any kind of breakout is if I'm not looking after my skin. So if my diet is not good, I can get the odd one. Um, otherwise, if I'm traveling a lot and I don't wash my face for a good 18 to 24 hours because it's an international flight, and you've got makeup on your face for too long uh, with sweat and you're not cleaning your face properly, then I might get um, you know, the odd pimple. And then also, um, I have to be really good about um, finishing my workout and then washing my face soon afterwards. So trying to wash my face within an hour after completing a workout, just to make sure that all that sweat is washed off my skin. Otherwise, you know, the dirt and the sweat and the makeup goes back into the pores and you probably will get a pimple. But other than that, no. My daily skincare routine is really simple. I cleanse twice a day and I moisturize twice a day. And in the summer months, I also use a toner between the cleansing and the moisturizing. I am a huge believer in exfoliation and my skin radiates when I do that at least two or three times a week. So I try to use a good exfoliation or I use a little tiny facial brush if I don't have an exfoliator with me. And then I do a mask once a week and um, that helps to just tighten up my face and then I go for a facial once a month and that's sort of my, my skincare luxury. Welcome back to The Loft. We're excited to have dermatologist Dr. Dilshad Asmal here with us to talk about adult acne. Now, Lisa, welcome doctor. Sorry, I'm so Thank excited you to me. ask you this question. <laughs> What I wanted to ask, first of all, and I've always wanted to ask a dermatologist this, I know people who eat badly, don't exercise, have the worst lifestyle, make the worst lifestyle choices, but they don't even get one zit. What causes acne, really? Well, acne is caused by a multitude of factors, so I always call it my addition sum to get to the end stage. You have your oily glands or your sebum glands mm -hmm. that are affected by hormones that are normally found in all males and females, but in them they're particularly sensitive to those hormones. You then have your dead skin cells clogging your pores, okay. so then your follicles get blocked, and this creates a perfect medium for a type of bacteria called Propionibacterium acne 
to okay. actually start having a party. So if you have this oiliness in the skin, you have your bacteria there, mm -hmm. it creates your papules, your bumps of acne, your pustules, your comedones, which are your whiteheads or your blackheads. Okay. And how would you treat mild to moderate acne in an adult? Mild to moderate acne, you can use your over-the-counter products. There's some excellent products in South Africa that are aiders. That means they're helping hands. Okay. But obviously, if they don't work, then you need proper medication from your GP or your dermatologist. And here, we'd come in with topical therapies. Mm -hmm. We'd mm -hmm. come in with oral therapies, like an oral antibiotic right. or an oral contraceptive in a female. Mm -hmm. And then you also have what I call my AK-47, a drug called isotretinoin, wow. which is the last resort for acne. And it's the one that has... Is it a severe has, one? Is that yes, why it's a it's last my, resort? Okay. It's my I drug see. that has lots of side effects, but if it works, it works like the bomb <laughs> and restores patient self-confidence. That's wonderful. And how does Dermalex fit in in fighting acne? Well, Dermalex is an over-the-counter product. Yes. It basically has ingredients that also don't contain ben benzyl peroxide okay. in it, so it can't dry out your skin. And again, it creates a hostile environment for the P. acnes, the bacteria that I talked about earlier on. Right. And, sorry, <laughs> what tips do you have for people who are suffering from acne? at home who can, like maybe they can't afford to get over the counter medication and they're at home and they just want to tr start treating the problem. Well, first of all, don't pick. If you pick, you'll scar and you'll hyperpigment. That means you'll go darker. So first of all, don't pick. Try not to use anything oily on your skin that will be occlusive. So if you're going to wear makeup, oil-free makeup, water-based makeup, don't scrub your face too hard because right. this will just inflame your skin right. and cause your acne to become more inflamed. Right. right. If you can, get into a simple cleansing and moisturizing routine. routine. Yeah. I mean, Lisa did mention that she suffers from breakouts if she doesn't wash her face after a workout or if she stays on with her makeup for too long. Is that quite common? Yes, in certain mm -hmm, patients mm -hmm. it is, if they also have the predisposing factors to give them the acne. But again, makeup, sweat can be occlusive. So yeah. it does clog the pores. Right. So avoid anything that clogs the pores. <laughs> Thank you so much, Doctor. Acne is definitely something you shouldn't feel ashamed of. And if you're watching us, and you hope, I hope you learned something new about treating acne, and I know I certainly did. After the break, we chat to some representatives from the SA Women's National Hockey Team. And we'll be right back, so don't go away. Groundbreaking treatment for acne. Hello YouTubers, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because we've got full episodes available for you. All those really cool interviews we've done, all the cool performances are right over there for you. So all you have to do is click subscribe. It's somewhere over here on this side of my face. Click it right now, do it.